Thanks for having me. Because these trials were carried out in near secrecy, do we really know at all if the charges and investigation were legitimate? I think what we do know is what the Saudi regime wants us to know. We know what what we've been briefed because, as you say, it was a closed door uh, trial. We don't really know to what extent there was evidence, to what extent the rule of law was followed, and to what extent there was scope for, for any type of, of proper defense, or whether this is just a regime narrative trying to, trying to draw this whole Hashoji affair to an end. Now, the crown prince has denied any knowledge of Hasoji's killing, though the American CIA has reportedly found that MBS personally ordered it. Uh, there are questions of whether these death sentences are a way of silencing people who could know more. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, I think that's probably accurate. I, I, I find it very difficult to believe that that an act such as this, which was obviously going to have very severe repercussions for the Saudi state, would not have been signed off by someone incredibly high up. And that person was most likely Mohammed bin Salman, the crown prince. But what I find interesting is that his, uh, his chief ally, um, the, the former top advisor, Saud al-Qahtani, was, was not found guilty. And I think that's quite telling that this is someone who many believe was integral to, to the assassination but yet he's not been found guilty. So that's where we find a little bit of tension between this thesis that, that maybe uh, MBS is just trying to silence people who know too much. Now, Saudi Arabia has been, over the last couple of years, making some social reforms, but critics, which included Hosoji, say these are just a cover-up for human rights abuses. And even right now, today, the Saudi Tourism Board is paying models and actors to promote a big music festival that's being yeah. held there as a sign of a social shift. Are these reforms just one big PR campaign? I think it's a bit more complex than that in the sense that, yes, there is a PR dimension to it. Yes, MBS is trying to reform the kingdom. Um, I think there is a degree of serious reform undergoing uh, across many parts of the Saudi state. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it falls in line with Western standards. It doesn't mean that, that Western, um, Western expectations are being met. But what we're seeing is a degree of reform albeit not necessarily addressing the most serious charges of human rights abuses, a penal system that is incredibly brutal uh, and, and a, a real lack of transparency in the rule of law, as we're seeing with this case. Simon Maybon from Lancaster University, thank you so much for your time.